Woo. Ah. Woo. Thus saith the Lord. Woo. 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 Thus saith. Woo. 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 That's, woo. That's the devil out of hell. That's the devil. That's the devil. Are uh, you listening to the old man? That's right. When God want a prophet to speak, <laughs> all that hopping and yelling like a coyote, <laughs> and God ain't in that. No. You read your Bible whenever God made a prophet speak, he spoke his word and that was it. That was it. All that hopping and jumping and shaking your hands, that don't mean nothing. No. All that's moving is by the devil to excite the people. That's it. The Bible says. Now, I have not sent these prophets. Do you hear this? In Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. You see, I love the lay in scripture yeah. to give people a better understanding of scripture. That's right. Because most people don't know how to look at things in church from scripture. Right. I look at things in church from scripture. Amen. I don't care about nobody's feelings. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm looking at scripture. That's right. Sometimes bishops tell me, well, Pastor Jennings, we want you to preach at our church. I said, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want you to bring doctrine. Can you imagine telling me that? My Lord. You're going to invite me to preach and then going to insult me and tell me what to preach? What to preach. Many men ask you, Pastor Jennings, if we invite you, what you going to preach? I said, truth. <laughs> That's what I'm going to preach. That's right. You don't plan nothing? Never. Never. I don't have time. I'm busy. Never. Huh? That's right. I preach truth. That's right. There's enough truth there that will last you throughout eternity. Amen. I have not sent. I have not sent these prophets. Are you sent today, Mr. Preacher? Mm. Are you sent? Sent. You got women preachers? You ain't sent. No. Mm -mm. No. no. You're not sent. No. You got women deacons? You're not sent. I'm not sent. I'm telling you to your face, Arizona. That's right. Yeah, hear what I'm telling you now. That's right. You believe in divorce and remarry? You know you ain't sent. Not, not sent. Living together, not married? You ain't sent. Amen. Homosexual? <laughs> You're not sent. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, I'm divorced and got a second wife, my first wife living, and yet I'm preaching? Mm -hmm. You're not preaching. Not preaching. You're not sent. Not sent. Well, I pass our danger. I don't care. That's the right. Bible says. I have not I sent these have prophets. I not sent these prophets. God ain't never sent a man to stood up for a lie. No. There's, God ain't never sent a man to stand up for a lie. No way. God sent a man to stand up for the truth, even if that truth hurts him. That's true. That's right. Paul said, oh, wretched man that I am. Mm -hmm. Who shall be able to deliver me from this body of death? The word hurt me. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. The word hurt Gino, brother. Yes, yes it sir. does. Yes, it sir. hurt Gino Jennings. That's right. It hurt me, brother. Oh, yes. Amen. But I got to tap out. Once that word put me in a submission hole, I got to tap out. That's right. Yeah? That's right. What did he say? I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. All mm. this rotten teaching these fellas have. <laughs> and tomorrow, yea, call and sent of God. That's why I challenged them. Mm -hmm. I challenged them. That's yeah. right. I challenged the United Pentecostal and the PAWs and Churches of God in Christ and all this folly. Oh, yeah. All these preachers around here and everybody got something different. That's right. You That's mean, right. Read your Bible. When Jesus sent his apostles out, he sent them all out with the same thing. Same thing. Didn't he do it? That's right. And then Paul and Barnabas came on later. They didn't came on with two different religions. No. They all had same the thing. same thing. Same thing. All of them. That's right. That's what right. got me barking loud from one end of the earth to the other. Amen. Everybody got something different. Yeah. The Bible says, how is it then, brother? Mm -hmm. When, when you, you come, come together, together, every one of you every one has of a you song. Have a song. Have and a that's song. the truth, too. That's true. Let's read this. In 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. All these churches here, right in Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Everybody got something different. That's true. Everybody. That's true. Apostolic here. <clears throat> Pentecostal there. Non-denominational there. Baptist there, Protestant there, Catholic there, Mormon there. Mm -hmm. And then they all have a fellowship service. Amen. Pentecostal, preacher come who believe in the Trinity and preach for the apostolic and get paid. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Oh, yeah, Pentecostal, preacher believe in the Trinity. Apostolic say, well, there ain't no Trinity, but he's my friend. My friend. That's, it's all about friend and money now. Yeah. 
I hold this thing so strict that if I go in the church and preach and I know you don't believe in all the truth of the Bible, we won't give you an offering. That's right. Mm -mm. Because when I go somewhere, the place is packed. Yeah. Hundreds. We won't mm. give you a dime. Amen. Mm -mm. Well, not a dime. That's right. There's one thing in that Bible you don't believe. Mm -hmm. You can pass that off and around. We just keep passing it to each other. <laughs> Went to a church I didn't know was a woman preacher, supposed to have been an apostle. <laughs> we, the church was so packed, no more can get in the building. Amen. And he was sitting in the pulpit, and we haven't even got the seats warm good. Man got up and wanted an offering, and he started sending the pan around, and it just kept going. He saw there wasn't no money in it. <laughs> All these people, and no money. no money. He looked back at me and said, Pastor Jennings? There ain't no money here. Your people didn't give no money. I said, you ain't getting that. Amen. He said, what? I said, listen, just turn me loose and let me preach so I can kill you and leave. That's right. I didn't come here to give you a dime. That's because right. if you want to be saved, you ain't worried about money. No. Huh? no. I came here to kill them. <laughs> and we killed them. Amen. And left. And left. And left the bodies there. That's right. No money. That's right. You take money and liquor from the preachers, they almost die. Oh, yeah. Because the churches today, God, have been replaced in church by the dollar. Yeah. And again, I say moreover, don't misunderstand me. We know it takes money for things to function, but the preachers should not have to hustle you, lie to you, and use you to get a dime. That's right. If you are a member of a church and they got a prayer line and telling you $500 prayer lines, $1,000 prayer lines, even down to a $1 prayer line, you are in a satanic club. Amen. If you're in a church and a preacher come to you and said, oh, the Lord just spoke to me. He Sata, there's $5,000 more in the house. And the Lord said, if you give it, I give it back 100 fold. You got the devil preacher in front of you. That's right. Don't you give that devil a dime. That's right. Tell that dumb dog to get a job and go to work. Go to work. Or die hungry and go to hell. That's right. Huh? Amen. Pastor Jennings, I like you, but you call names. You just call him a dumb dog. Dumb give dog. me Isaiah 56 and 10. I Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. If I got any preachers here, you judge yourself and see, can you bark this? Amen. All right. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. What is that? His watchmen are blind. The watchman is your leader. Amen. Blind. You mean to tell me you got a preacher that can't see? Mm. What is good is having a dog guarding your house and mm. you got a big sign, beware of dog. Yeah. And that dumb thing never barked. <laughs> That's right. Like a silent movie. Shake his head. Nothing comes out. Amen. You look. The watchman is a preacher. Mm -hmm. He's what? His watchmen are blind. 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 Mm -hmm. Anytime these fellows let any old raggedy and preacher come in there, rings on every finger, chains all around his neck, process hair, running some week's revival yeah. just so he can make some money and then split it with the bishop. That's right. That's true. All this trash coming from all around the country. That's right. A weak revival of trash. That's right. Preachers come in with different spirits each night and contaminate church. Amen. And the people become weaker and weaker of slogans. Yeah. Motivational speakers. Yeah. Motivated to go to college, motivated to make money, but never motivated to live holy. That's because right. they're not taught how to live holy. That's right. The Bible says what? His watchmen are blind. Blind. They are all ignorant. Wait a minute, the preachers are what? Ignorant. But he got a PhD. They are all ignorant. Let's see what is what see what his DD, his DD degree stand for. They are all dumb dogs. That's what you got. That's right. Dumb That's dogs. what your Bishop D.D. degree stand for. Amen. He's what? They're all dumb dogs. Why? They cannot bark. Cannot the preacher bark. don't open his mouth That's about right. wrong. That's right. That's right. Don't say nothing. Amen. But other people in the church, he'll get on them. He'll chastise them. Yeah. But his own family won't touch. That's true. If, you, if the preacher wife do something wrong openly, 
rebuke her openly. Yeah. If you can't rebuke your wife openly when she do wrong, but yet rebuke others openly when they do wrong, you have respect the person. Respect the persons. If you sit a sister down in church for getting pregnant out of wedlock, and yet your daughter is pregnant out of wedlock for the fourth time, mm. and the bishop don't say nothing, yeah. sit down. That's right. The Bible said if the preacher can't rule his own house, how can he take care of the house of God? That's right. Didn't it say so? That's right. What did he say? They are all dumb dogs. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. They can't preach. Sleeping. What kind of preacher are they? Sleeping. What else? Lying down. What else? Loving to slumber. What else? Yea, they are greedy dogs. Why? Which can never have enough. They're lazy and greedy. That's right. That's why it seemed like the Lord only talked to them during offering time. <laughs> Otherwise than that, they don't hear from the Lord don't only when money's being raised. Amen. When money's being raised, right then the Lord told him, there's more money in the house. <laughs> it's amazing how these men can get over there and tell the Lord, say, I need a jet. And that, it, what's more amazing is how the people just give it to them. That's true. Let me get on television and tell the folk, the Lord told me to tell y'all to buy me a model plane from Kmart. Not a real one, a model one. They say, we ain't buying that crazy man nothing. <laughs> how That's the true. people is duped. That's right. Somebody... I think it was on our way down here. One of the brothers was telling me about some false prophet. I don't know whether he was in Africa or America. Convinced the people and said the Lord told him to tell them to drink his bath water. What? Huh? In Africa. So he left his dirty bath water there. My Lord, my Lord. Do you see that you want, and people say, he's mean. He's talking about preachers too much. I got to warn the people. That's right. Warn them. That's right. Warn them. Warn them. Imagine that. That's something. He told them, the Lord's, this is what I mean. These men don't have no fear. In the book of Joshua, the Bible talks about fear. Fear, that's right. He said the Lord told him mm. to tell the members Drink his bath water. And they done it. They drunk the man bath water. My Lord, my Lord. Another preacher down in Africa said the Lord told him to tell the people that the grass outside, you may have saw it on YouTube, is manna from heaven. Mm. And the members went right out the church on their knees eating grass like an ox. The preacher didn't do it. My Lord, my Lord. You don't find nobody over the air preaching against false prophets. Amen. They won't do it. No, they won't. Because they're scared of being sued or labeled. I don't care if you do sue me. I ain't got nothing to give you. That's right. And if you sued me, I would never apologize for preaching the truth. I'd go to jail and spend my days there. That's right. I wouldn't off give you a dime. Amen. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. The Bible says what? Yea, they are greedy dogs. Joshua talk about fear. In Joshua chapter 24, and at verse 15. Come on, son. And at, uh, Joshua 24 and verse 14. Yes. Now therefore fear the Lord. What? Now therefore fear the Lord. That's not in church now. No. If fear was in church, yeah. you wouldn't have a different false prophet every night running revival. That's right. If these men feared God, they couldn't even get up here and say something, say certain things without trembling. That's true. God told me to tell you, buy me a car. No, God told me to get a job and go to work. Amen. He said, if you don't work, you don't eat. You don't eat. That's right. That's why these men want to get in the pulpit. They don't want to work. They're lazy. lazy. They don't want to work. They just want to get up and give a dry lecture and get a few <laughs> amens from the people and tell them, you got to have the love of Christ. That's true. That's what they say about Pastor Jennings now. Moreover, he don't preach with love. He preached with anger and hatred. He's mean. They think love is uh, talking like Jimmy Swaggart. Yeah. They think love is walking around holding a peace sign like Nixon. Amen. They think love is sounding like Joel Alstein. Mm -hmm. 
Love is telling you the truth. That's right. Love is telling you what's right. Mm -hmm. Well, my father took that belt and laid it to my behind. Love did it. Oh, yeah. You don't need no sugar preacher. You already got one. That's right. I come to knock your taffy out your hand. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm that Holy Ghost bully. See you with that tech out of <laughs> Knock that lollipop out your hand. That's right. And take your cotton candy take from it. Cotton. Give it here. <laughs> Leave it standing there crying. <laughs> Bishop! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I come knock your cotton candy out your hand. Pull the rubber nose off your clown. <laughs> Go and take God. Come along and upset your party and everything else everything. and tell the whole world come back to Bible. That's right. If you're not going to come back to Bible, don't go to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't go to church. Hallelujah. If you're not going to believe the Bible, don't go to church. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm not out to be loved. Mm -mm. I want folks to hear this word. That's it. You don't want to do what the Bible said do? Don't go to church. Mm -hmm. What are you wasting your time for? That's right. There's only one gospel. Yeah. And he gave that to the apostles. Amen. And they all had the same thing. Same thing. And ever since the church started on the day of Pentecost, God ain't started nothing else since. That's right. One Lord, one faith, one, faith. one baptism, yeah, baptism, one doctrine. Yeah. One church, one church, one people. Yeah. All right, listen to what I'm telling you. Now, therefore, give fear, chapter and verse again. J Joshua chapter 24 at verse 14. All right, listen. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. You know what? Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. You that's living together, not married, it's time for you to go your separate way. That's right. I want to put some fear in your house. Fear. You that got your second wife and your third husband, and you know your first wife and your first husband are living, it's time to bring that relationship to a close. That's right. But what about the children, Pastor Jenny? You got to take care of them. Mm -hmm. They are innocent victims of your sins. Yeah. That's all they are. They're innocent victims. Well, my bishop got his second wife. What else is new? What else is new? Even God got one wife. That's right. What? It's the church. Yeah. The church is called the bride. Right. <laughs> eh? That's right. Glory to God. What is that? Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And serve him. Serve them. Him. No. Serve God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And serve him. Serve three in one. And serve him. Serve three in one. And serve him. Serve two. Him. I represent him. Him. I don't represent them. That's right. You that got them. You're on your way to hell. That's right. All down to the Bible, only been him. Only been him. Just one. Mm -hmm. One, the hero of Israel. That's right. The Lord our God. One Lord. One. one. I, I have the God of Israel. Go ahead, man. I say I have <laughs> Go ahead. the God of Israel. That's right. I represent the God of Israel. Israel's God made me a preacher. That's right. Go ahead, take God, and I bring the holy commandments to govern creation. That's right. What is that? Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear the Lord, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Fear the Lord so much, you know when you fear God, it'll make you get into an argument with the church you're in. Yes, it will. You see all that wrong going on, you'll go to the office door to Bishop. Bishop, the Bible said I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use authority over the man. And the only place where I see where women taught was in the second chapter of the book of Titus, Titus. when it says the aged women taught the younger women. Yeah. So why do you have the aged women and young women teaching Bible class? That's right. Teaching what is called Sunday school. That's right. And why do we got these Sunday school books? These are the same books the Catholics use, the Baptists use, the Methodists use. Mm -hmm. Why is your wife the first lady? I thought Eve was the first lady. She did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you see how much trouble you will start? Amen. Question your preacher. You hear me tell you over the air, question your preacher. Question and preacher. When, when you question your preacher, you know what he said? The Bible said don't question God. Ain't no Bible said that. No. And if your bishop said that, you tell him, oh, I'm not questioning God because you ain't God. <laughs> no. I'm questioning you. Right. You stop letting these men take your money and then think you ain't got the right to question what they preach. That's right. Right. They jumping around, spitting and hollering. People ask me, why you don't preach in a robe? I don't need no robe for what? 
A robe? A robe. I don't need no robe. Save your suits. For who? <laughs> You'll wear them out. That's what I got them for. That's right. When I die, I'm going to leave them behind anyway. Yeah. What did he say? Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear God. And serve him. Serve him. In sincerity and in truth. Be sincere in what you're doing. And put away the... Hold it. Mm -hmm. Be sincere in what you're doing. Sure, I sincerity. can't even count the amount of women preachers came out the pulpit from hearing this message and brought their license to church. I didn't ask them. Yeah. Different parts of the world brought their license to church. The pastor Jennings here. I said, what's this? This is my license. We want you to tear them up. Then I know they're gone. <laughs> Amen. I tore them up and some I set on fire. Make sure they're gone. Amen. Followers in churches are innocent victims of bad teaching. Yeah. And then they get these little scrawny, low-life bums that call little pulpit preachers and send them out, and they can't even stand behind what they preach. That's right. You got to be able to stand right. behind what you preach. That's right. And back that stuff up with Bible. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me a Bible thumper. Amen. Yeah? Amen. You see, coming up in the hood, one of the words for fighting was thumping. Yeah. When they call us out, we be like, oh, yeah. We are thump. Mix it up. Yeah. I come with the Old Testament and New Testament and mix it up. That's right. Thank God and thump you with God everlasting word. That's right. This is that old fashioned holiness. Yeah that the devil been trying to get rid of before I was born. Amen. But brother, it is here in full bloom. Oh, yeah. The devil will never be able to get it out of the earth. That's right. The Bible says what? Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear God. And serve him. Serve him. In sincerity. Be sincere. And in truth. And truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served. Put away what? And put away the gods. Sell it. G-O-D-S. Put away what? And put away the gods. Anything that have to do with gods. God, put when away. You try to pluralize God. What do you do? Put away. Put away. Well, I got three. The Bible says. And put away the gods. Put away. That little picture in your house is supposed to be Jesus. Mm-hmm. Because I know here in Arizona, there's a lot of Catholics here. Amen. I know a lot of Catholics. You got that old little lying hippie on your wall. <laughs> Before you go to work in the morning, you turn to the preacher, to the picture. You fool. That's a fool. Who told you that was Jesus? That's right. Get that trash, that graffiti off your wall. That's right. Huh? That's right. Bring it here. I put a mustache on it. <laughs> Deface it. I deface it. Amen. I burn it up. That's right. Amen. The and, Bible says. And put away the gods. Get them statues supposed to be Mary out of your house. Yeah. Get that statue supposed to be Jesus. Yeah. Talking about Jesus' birthday is next week. That's a lie. That's a lie. There ain't no Bible that says his birthday is December 25th. Mm -hmm. All of you that tell your children that lie, you a liar. That's a lie. That's right. Amen. That's right. I want you to know this, Arizona. Amen. What if God says what? And put away the gods. Put away. The gods. Take your pictures out the house, supposed to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tell your bishop to take that cross with the image on it. That's idolatry. That's idolatry. Take that manger off your house. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Go, go to your house. When you go back home tonight, kick it over. <laughs> That's right. Kick it. Stop it. Crush it. That's right. Hey, the moment you get out your car, just run to it. <clears throat> Huh. Don't need for the wife to say, baby, you kicking Jesus, ain't you? <laughs> That's not Jesus. That's right. That's some little unofficial dummy you got there. <laughs> Amen. The Amen. Bible says. And put away the gods. Put it away. Put away the gods. All right, Phoenix, you got to put away all that idolatry. You got to throw it. out. All your pictures that's supposed to be Jesus, that's supposed to be angels, that's supposed to be Mary. Somebody say, even angels? Give me the book of Exodus. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, we're starting at verse 1. Listen. And God spake all these words. Who said it? God spake all no, these words. Gino said it. God spake all these words. I want you to hear this. That's People right. blame me for the harshness <laughs> of the scripture. Don't blame me. I didn't write it. No. 
God said, and God spake all these words, all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord thy God that brought you out of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. And thou shalt have no other gods before me. Wait a minute. No other gods. No, don't have no other god before us. Before me. Them. Me. They. Me. We. Me. We only got one. I keep telling you. That's right. We only got one here. That's right. I don't care what language you say it in. Yeah. One. One. Uno. One. That's right. Just one. That's one. Not three. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Uno. That's right. Not three. Uno. <laughs> that's right. Not siete. Uno. Uno. Not those uno. That's right. One I said. Thou shalt have no other gods My before Spanish me. ain't that good, but you understand what uno is. Amen. Who oh, will take God? What did he say? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Holy, holy. This is God's commandment. Thou shalt not make unto thee Don't any graven make image. Any graven image? Or any likeness of, of anything. Any likeness of anything? That is in heaven above. In heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath, earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. You see, God didn't want his people to get caught up in idolatry. That's right. And look at you. Got angels all around your house. And pictures supposed to be Jesus. Or they got pictures, one supposed to be Jesus showing a little heart. <laughs> and then they got a picture of a little pudgy knee fat baby sitting on the lap of a woman supposed to be married. That's and right. you got all crosses all over your bed with images on it to yeah. the, keep the devil out. Right. Got image on the cross over your bed. Image on the cross over your door of the house. Yeah. Image on the cross on both sides of the house. A little water fountain coming up out of Mary in a little dirty mold fed baby on the outside. That's right. And I'm going to take Jesus and cover the house with it. No, you took idolatry and covered your house. That's right. Take that trash and set it outside. Amen. Amen. Or whatever trash there is, mm -hmm. set it out. Don't sell it to nobody. Now put away the gods. Put it away. Put away the gods. So I said, I'm going to give the devil back his tools. No, we're preaching people to get out from idolatry. And if you give people the idols that God delivered you from, now you stripped in the and hands the of the evildoer. Evil That's right. And you become a partaker of their sins. That's right. Do you hear this? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. No graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Why? Or that is in the earth beneath. And or that is in the water under the earth. And thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Oh, wait a minute. Don't even bow. Thou shalt not. You that got that picture supposed to be Jesus in your house. Look at you. That's right. The, you transgress. The Bible says. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. They turn all the lights out in the house. And the picture they got of Jesus in the living room got a little lamp over the top. Little, little they leave light. that on burning all night. Amen. And say, Jesus is going to watch over the house. <laughs> and then somebody break in and steal the picture. That's right. <laughs> you get what I'm telling you? That's right. That little picture couldn't protect you more than a duck can tap dance. No. Stop making the lucky charm. And you that are Catholics that got your little beads. Hail Mary, mother of God. God ain't got no mother. That's right. God ain't never had a mother. Amen. God have no beginning of days. God have no end of life. Right. Mary was the mother of that body that had the title son of God, and God was in that body, for the Bible says to it, God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world unto himself. Mary ain't never been God's mother. No. You better not tell me that. I make you lick that lie up. That's right. God have a mother. Mm. God is too big to have a mother. Amen. Bible says God is higher than heaven, Amen. deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. That's right. What did he say? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to don't them. Don't bow. Don't even bow down to them. That's why we don't bow to no pope. No. You Catholics in Arizona, when the pope come in town, you have no to bow to him. Bow to him. Or bow to the archbishop. Mm -hmm. Bowing to him. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the problem with you now. The bishop, archbishop, they bowing too much. That's why they being sued. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Bow too much, I said. I said. Or that God you bow to the wrong thing. That's right. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Don't bow down thyself to them. Nor serve them. Why? For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. He's what? A jealous God. 
Take all them idols out your house. You clean your house out when you go home tonight now. Tonight. You can sleep better. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Take all them pictures, supposed to have been Jesus, little angels, little old dirty, ugly porcelain baby, supposed to be Mary, that little old porcelain statue, supposed to be Jesus. Throw that trash out. Throw it out. Break it up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get joy out of it. Let your children get in it. Come on, children. We're going to have a family breakup day. Go <laughs> home and get the hammer and screwdrivers and pliers and just break it up. Let your son step on the head. That's right. Break it up. Break it up. If you read the Old Testament, that's what the prophets did. And in, the, in the book of Exodus, they chapter went, 23. They went in all the houses of God where idols was brought in and smashed it to smashed pieces. Smashed it to pieces. What did he say? In Exodus 23 and verse 24. Like when we bought that campus by God's permission, that 200,000 square foot campus, five buildings. Yeah. Man, we was going from building to building. Just getting statues. That's right. Tearing them up. Tearing them up. Getting scalped. I mean, some was high up and made out of solid granite. We got scalpers. One brother, some of the brothers say, it's heavy. I don't care if it's so heavy. I told them, I don't care if it's so heavy, give you back pain. Get it out of here! Get it out. That's right. That's right. Two big limestone angels was on the front of the church. <laughs> Got them down. That's right. It was going from building to building, tearing it up. Tearing them up. Didn't care how much they cost. Mm -hmm. Didn't care. Tear it up. Tear it it up. gives you joy to tear it up. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. All right. Exodus 23 and verse 24. Right, that's Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, uh -huh. nor serve them, uh -huh. nor do after their works. Don't wait. Don't do after their works. Nor do after their works. Right, uh, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them. Utterly overthrow them. And quite break down their images. So do what to them? Break down their images. No, glue them together. Break down their images. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes the children knocked over one of those little stackers. Mama beat it. <laughs> you knocked over my Jesus. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Now, Tommy, you sit down. Tommy, sit down. Don't you know Tommy was doing the Lord's bidding? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Don't you know Tommy did the will of God Amen. when he knocked over that old good for nothing. For nothing. Well, I paid for it. That's your fault. <laughs> That's your fault. That's right. Amen. Now, let, turn Tommy loose. Turn <laughs> Sally loose. Turn Cynthia loose. To turn all your children loose. Turn Tell them to collect all the statues that's supposed to be idols mm -hmm. and let them just have a ball. That's right. Take them out on the yard <laughs> and just let them. You can videotape them and put them on YouTube and <laughs> put the caption, the destruction of home idolatry. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Just let them tear yeah. it up. Let them do it. Tear it. The Bible tells you to but do But thou it. shalt utterly overthrow them. Utterly overthrow them. And quite break down their images. No, tape them together. Break down their Glue images. Glue them together. Break down their images. All right, Arizona. I know this. I know Arizona is a Catholic state. Yeah. Catholic state. Oh, yeah. Idols, images everywhere. Everywhere. Can't make a move without kissing somebody dirty's feet. That's right. In the hospital. Loved ones sick. You go in the chapel. There's somebody dirty feet sitting in it. <laughs> <laughs> on a nice day, the weather's nice. You go outside in the yard. There's somebody dirty feet <laughs> out there. Amen. Bird droppings all on it, and they still kiss it. That's right. Kissing the bird, the droppings, and the feet. Their idols are silver and gold. That's the devil out of hell. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? In the book of Psalms 115 and at verse 4. Follow me in your Bible. Psalms 115 and at Follow verse 4. Follow me in your Bible. Psalms 115 and at the fourth verse. That's what? Their idols are silver and gold. Their idols are silver and gold. The work of men's hands. The work of men's hands. They have mouths. Uh-oh. Amen. Why are you in the hospital in the chapel trying to ask me, Mary? <laughs> dear mother, dear holy mother. That's true. Holy Mother, please heal my child. That's right. You asking Mary to heal your Mary child? Heal. That's right. Mary ain't no healer. No. The Bible ain't never said Mary ever healed a skunk. No. There's only one healer. Let's show you who's the healer in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Come on, son, move quick. Amen. Let me show you who the Bible says was the healer. That's right. And you praying to Mary, oh, Holy Mother. And you praying to dead, dead priests? Dead priests. Oh, dead, oh, oh Father Charlie. <laughs> Want to talk to Charlie and his angels. That's right. 
Charlie's Angels, I said. Amen. Father Dupree. <laughs> Father Nova Scotia. Father Sam. Yeah. The Bible ain't never told you pray to these fellas. No, no. The Bible ain't tell you to have a good look charm of some saint called Michael, and Michael's supposed to protect you. Ain't no Bible teach that stuff. No, no. It's idolatry. That's right. Let's look at the Bible. Who's the healer? Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. Many of you get upset, good. Come on back 11 o'clock tomorrow. That's what right. did he say? Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. I want to educate you real good. See now that I. God talking. See now that I. God talking. See now that I, even I. See now that I, even I. Am he. Am he. And there is no God with me. What did God say he do? I kill. I kill. And I make alive. I wound. I wound. And I heal. No, Mary's the healer. And I heal. St. Michael's the healer. And I heal. Pontiff McGee is the healer. And I heal. I heal. I heal. Who do you think word I'm going to take? That's I'm right. going to take God's word. God's word. Not even Mary ever said she was the healer. No. Mary didn't say that. No, no, no. No. Stop praying to Mary That's and right. all these different saints that don't exist. That's right. Well, I'm going to talk to Pope Paul. He's dead. He's dead. Pope Paul's dead. Get his picture out your house. That's right. That's well, Paul watching over me. He's God. Mm -hmm. Only one watch over us. That's God. In Daniel chapter 9 and at verse 3. Follow me in your Bible, Catholics. Yeah. Catholics. Mm -hmm. Catholics. But that's why I don't like you, Pastor Dizzy, because you talk about everybody's religion. I'm talking about that which contradicts the Bible. That's right. If it contradicts the Bible, who are you? Mm-hmm. I have to come and tell you what the Bible says. That's right. Why are you bowing to images and statues and praying to dead people? They didn't do that in here. No. Nobody no. in the Bible prayed to the dead. That's right. That's right. Daniel chapter 9. And Nobody! Even God said, I'm a God. I'm not a God of the dead, but of the living. The living. And he said the dead knows nothing. That's right. That's right. Dead don't know nothing. nothing. If the dead don't know nothing, what make you think they hear you pray? Amen. A dead person came in your house, the house will be empty because you'll run out of it. <laughs> Listen at this. Daniel chapter 9, we're at verse 3. I got to preach this because parents are raising their children up on this lie for years. Oh, yeah. So then what happened? Each generation get fed this lie, and the lie just keep traveling. Yeah. You become a saint after you die. Oh, really? Oh, really? It ain't coming back tomorrow. I'm going to find an Arizona club <laughs> and just wait till I'm dead and then become a saint then. That's right. Man, if you ain't becoming a child of God while no. you're alive, to hell you oh, will go when the Lord come and place you in judgment in eternity. That's right. Listen. Daniel chapter 9 and at verse 3. What is it? And I set my face unto the Lord God. And what? To seek by prayer and supplication. I set my, my face, face unto the Lord God. To Mary. Unto the Lord God. To Martha. I set my face unto the Lord God. Pray to Moses. And I set my face unto the Lord God. Pray to all the popes. I set my face unto the Lord God. Pray to Constantine. I set my face unto the Lord God. Amen. Where do you get this stuff from? To seek by prayer. To do what? To seek by prayer. To seek by, by prayer. And supplication. And supplication. With fasting. With fasting. And sackcloth. Sackcloth. And ashes. Ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God. I prayed unto Mary, the mother of Jesus. And I prayed unto the Lord my God. Who are you praying to? That's right. You got a little lucky charm with an image on it or a picture of some old man that you call father. Mm. from the 18th or 19th century sitting there posing posing and you go and talk to him <laughs> that's right father liver wish <laughs> father liver wish I'm, I need a, a promotion of my job father liver wish mm. and father liver wish I have no one to turn to mm. I turn to you father liver wish Call no man your father upon the earth. Uh oh. In the book of Matthew, chapter 23, and at verse so 9. So, Father Liverwish don't answer you, go to Father Chicken Wing. That's right. And if Father Chicken Wing don't answer you, go get Father Fat Back. That's right. 
We pray to none. That's right. But God. I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. No, I made my confession to who? And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. No, go in a closet with the priest. I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. Amen. And you go unto the priest. Mm. Father. at me for preaching it? I know. That priest ain't fit to forgive you for stealing the clown. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I say? Amen. And I prayed unto the Lord my God. I prayed unto the Lord my Lord God. I take God to the Lord my God. And made my confession. All of you that's confessing to the Pope and praying to Mary and praying to dead people, dead people. God ain't never told you to do that. That's right. That's right. I pray. No dead man can answer me. No. Oh, no. I don't pray to Peter. No. Doesn't matter if he was an apostle. That's I don't pray to Peter. That's right. I don't pray to Paul. That's right. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, they all continued in prayer right. and supplication, supplication, and they wasn't praying to nobody dead. No. I prayed unto the Lord my God. I prayed to the Lord my God. And made my confession. And made my confession. And said, O oh Lord, oh Lord, the great and dreadful God. The great mm. and dreadful God. Keeping the covenant and mercy to them. Go back to that scripture that you was beginning to read about father. Don't call no man father. I mm -hmm. want to explain that. Explain that. I want to explain what it means. Because y'all Catholics here in Arizona in the world call the Pope Father and call all these priests Father. Right. Uh -huh. Let me explain that with the Bible. In Matthew chapter 23 we're at verse 9. All right. And call no man your father upon the earth. Call no man no father upon the earth. For what is your father? One is your father. Which is in heaven. See that means don't you address no man father in the same manner that you would address God as father. That's right. See God being your father that means he's father of creation is able to do everything. Right. A man that's your father but yet he's limited in his fatherhood. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. So if you call a man father don't address him as father with the same type of address or with the same type of meaning that you would God. That's right. And call no man your father upon the earth. What? For one is your father which is one in heaven. One is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called master. Don't be called master. For one is your master. One is your master. Even Neither Christ. Neither be called rabbi. But be ye not called rabbi. Why? For one is your master. One is your master. Even Christ. Even Christ. And all ye. What are we? Are brethren. <sighs> well. Oh, that, amen. That knocks, that knocks your title out. That's right. That's right. All of us are what? And all ye are brethren. No, junior deacon. All ye are brethren. Junior bishop. All ye are brethren. Junior elder. All ye are brethren. Amen. All right, junior. Amen. I want to give you the Bible. That's right. Junior. That's right. All ye are what? All ye are brethren. All right, let's close out and see what everybody got to do now. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. All right, Phoenix, I want you to check up on your salvation. Mm -hmm. You that them bow your head and raise your hands and went to some fake church and you was told to accept Christ like that, you ain't got Christ. No. I mean, I'm from the hood. and Anytime I see someone standing like this, something went wrong. That's right. False prophet got a false religion on your back. That's right. Been baptized. Wrong. Wrong. Bible ain't never said bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ right where you are. Mm -hmm. The Bible ain't never said join the church. Amen. The Bible ain't never said make a decision for Christ. That's right. The Bible have never taught the prayer sinner's prayer. That's never. Right. Never. And the Bible never told nobody to be baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. Well, you're wrong there, Pastor Jennings. Jesus said baptize Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He did not. No, he didn't. Give me Matthew 28, 19 and follow me. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. 
Go ye therefore and teach all nations. And do what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. No, baptize just Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You can't be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost unless you know the name. That's right. Of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. I'm a son mm -hmm. by birth. I'm a husband by marriage. I'm a father. Me and my wife got seven children. Mm -hmm. If I tell you to do something in my name, are you going to say son, husband, and father? No. Or are you going to call my name Jennings? That's right. Father's no name. That's right. That's a title. Son is no name. That's a title. Holy Ghost is no name. That's a title. That's well, right. Pastor Jennings, that's the Trinity. Where did the Bible say that, you liar? Amen. The word Trinity don't even exist in the Bible. No. It don't even exist. No. Where it come from, Pastor Jennings? It came from Rome. That's right. That's a Roman Catholic lie. That's right. That's right. They just tossed it and came up with it because God didn't give them the revelation of the mystery of the Godhead. That's so right. they came up with it. Mm -hmm. with the, it, it, it to describe Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they didn't have it from the Spirit. Right. So they just came up with the phrase Trinity. That's right. Three persons. You know that's a lie. The that's Holy right. Ghost is not a person. No. God ain't no person. The Bible says God is a spirit. spirit. That's right. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I ain't filled with no person. I'm filled with the spirit of the living God. That's right. You see what I'm telling you? That's right. What is that? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. All of you that been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you just got wet. Mm -hmm. You've been wet. You've been lied to. You've been tricked. You that's in the Catholic Church that been sprinkled, you ain't baptized. You're not baptized. Give me Romans the sixth chapter. Romans chapter six. The Bible six. ain't never told you to go up to a bowl and have a preacher take some water and just pour it over your little baby's round head. <laughs> in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Did he speak Latin? Stockings and stockings and bearing shoes. You talk all your foolish talk that you want. That's right. <laughs> You're going to come back to the Bible. What did you, if any of you have been sprinkled, you ain't baptized either. Mm -mm. You ain't. Your baby ain't. Amen. That's good broken English. You ain't. <laughs> and your baby ain't. That's right. Let's get some Bible. Romans chapter 6 and that verse 1. Wait, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that the dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not. As so many of us as was baptized in the Jesus Christ was baptized unto his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism. Sprinkled with him by baptism. We are buried with him by baptism. How many here was a Catholic and was sprinkled sometime in their life? Raise your hand. Ah, uh, see, just got wet. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just wet. No That's more wet. baptized than a duck can smoke a cigar and give you an interview. That's right. What did he say? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. You've got to be buried. Buried. Your whole body must go down in the water. That's right. Now, Matthew 28, 19, nobody was being baptized there. Mm -hmm. The apostles was given instructions from Jesus to go do it. Go do it. Go ye therefore, Go ye therefore. And teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Well, the apostles had the understanding. What was the name? That's right. So Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled yeah. in Acts 2, 38. Mm -hmm. One scripture says, Go do it. The other scripture is where it was done. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Now let's hear this. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. What? Repent. No, join the church. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. That's what your preacher tell you. The preacher tell you if you want to be saved. Anybody want a church home, I give you a home. Open the doors of the church or get on a mourner's bench and get several different works of grace. That's right. Or hold the preacher's hand and repeat some sinner's prayer. And you walk around thinking you saved. You've been tricked. Lied to, conduct, had, bamboozled. Had. Amen. And if you that done any of those things, you ain't never been saved, including if you're a preacher. That's right. All right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Do what? Repent. You see, when you truly repent, there's conviction in here. Mm -hmm. God wants you to be sorry about your wrong. That's right. And when you get a person that's sorry about their wrong, you ain't got to fight them to do what the Bible said, do. No. Repent. Repent and be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Jesus said baptized in the name mm -hmm. of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now here the apostles use the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you hear that? That's right. That's the name. 
of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. They are nowhere, nowhere, I want you to hear me, Phoenix, nowhere in the Bible mm -hmm. that the apostles take anybody in water and said over them, I baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, no. Every place where the apostles baptized, they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, or they used oh, the words, Lord, Lord Jesus. That's right. Then Peter said to them, Repent. Now, you that are baptized mm -hmm. and claim you was baptized in Jesus' name. Yeah. Take that to the Bible. Right. Because nobody in the Bible was baptized simply using the word Jesus. Jesus. That's right. You got more than one Jesus. Mm -hmm. You got Moses minister, Joshua. Right. Being that there's no J's in the Hebrew language, Joshua is pronounced Yahashua. That's right. Yahashua in English is Jesus. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Jacob and Esau. Esau in Arabic is pronounced Isa. Well, Isa in English, the name is Jesus. That's right. You got Bar Jesus. The Bible says who by interpretation name was Eliumus. He was a false prophet. That's right. You got Jesus Justice, mm -hmm. <clears throat> who was a laborer of Brother Paul. Right. Nobody in the Bible was simply baptized using the word Jesus That's by itself. Jesus. That's right. So if you were baptized simply in Jesus' name, you ain't baptized according to the Bible. No. What difference does it make, Pastor Jennings? Give me Colossians 3, 17. And Colossians and chapter 3. I'll show you what difference does it make. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. The Bible says. And whatsoever ye do. Whatsoever ye do. In word. When you baptize, you're saying words. Mm -hmm. And. Or deed. When you actually perform the baptism, you're doing a deed. How did the Bible say it must be done? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, simply in Jesus' name. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Just Jesus' name. Of the Lord Jesus. Just simply Jesus' name. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on back to the Bible. That's right. You that claim you're baptized right, you better look it over. Look it over. Come on back to the Bible. That's right. That's right. I baptized, I'm, we are baptizing now thousands of people in the name of Jesus Christ who never was baptized right. Yeah. Even many folk that came out of organizations that been baptized in Jesus' name, and that's it, because they ain't been taught no better. That's right. Now they're finding out that they ain't got it like the Bible said. That's right. Baptize a PAW bishop over in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptize UP, I baptize so many UPC folk, UPC, UPCI, UPCI, HR, all these old type of letters. <laughs> you better come back to Bible, Arizona. That's right. Repent. Repent and be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How much here in Phoenix? Every one of you. I got you too, Mr. Preacher. That's right. Yeah. Mr. Preacher, don't come tell me what title you are. I don't want to hear it. No. You come on back to the Bible. That's right. Because when Jesus come, you better measure up and stand and preach for what the apostles preach. Yeah. That's what make my gospel so strong. Mm -hmm. I had someone write me and got insulted. They say, well, who, that, that's what I don't like about you, Pastor Jenner. That proves that you're arrogant. Look, you said, I heard you say, my gospel. my gospel. You can't say that. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. The Apostle Paul said, God going to judge the secrets of all men's hearts according, to my, according to, my to my gospel. Why did he say my gospel? Because it was given to him. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. When it's given to you, the preacher, brother, that's my gospel. Amen. And I'm telling the world, you're going to face God for this gospel that we're preaching and it's going to judge you. Anybody want to get right and get on God's side and get the right baptism so you don't burn in hell and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Phoenix, Arizona, if you want to be right, stand on your feet if you want it tonight. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, oh, you see them that are standing in the back? All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All right, brother, let's get yourself together. Glory to God. <laughs> oh, that's the way it is everywhere. It just has to be like God says it. Hallelujah. Everybody in the world must Hallelujah. repent. Repent. This is a Holy Ghost roundup. That's right. Yes, it is. That's right. Amen. Last week we baptized 92. Uh, in Johannesburg we baptized 192. The continent of Australia, the Australian government wouldn't let me in. They said I was too militant. Mm. And because I stood against homosexuality, so they said we'd keep us out. All right, they wouldn't let us in. 
but we did a live webcast. And with that live webcast, 108 souls went down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, with the live webcast. So they may keep me out, but you ain't kept God out. No, no. Everybody in Phoenix, every preacher, every household, every mother, father, sister, and brother, every preacher must repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongue at the Spirit of God give utterance. There's not a Baptist church in the Bible. It ain't nobody in the Bible claimed there was apostolic. Nobody in the Bible said there was Pentecostal. Nobody in the Bible said there was non-denominational. Yeah, 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 hard head. That's right. Doesn't matter if you don't like this, nobody in the Bible. Nobody, nobody. We supposed to be what God is. Yeah. And God say, be ye holy. Yeah. For I, the Lord, thank God, is holy. Mm -hmm. All right, come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Don't go to your church. Don't tell me your position. Just don't go. <laughs> That's right. Come on back and hear the word of God. Amen. Tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Let us all stand. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again for your many blessings this evening. We thank you, Father God, for the word of God that was preached by the man of God, by the spirit of God. We thank you, Father.